And uh, what better way than to do it with some personal development? And today we're actually going to be listening to two videos. We're going to be listening to uh, to Elon Musk, who is the uh, creator of SpaceX, Tesla, and all these amazing other other things. Uh, we're going to be listening to his top ten rules uh, for success, as well as Bruce Lee. So two different people. Uh, definitely excited to hear the top ten rules. You know because. Uh, they both contributed so much to to the planet. So I'm excited to get this uh, thing started. And uh, we're going to start with Elon Musk. And let's go. Businesses like PayPal, Tesla Motors, and SpaceX. He's the closest thing we have to real life Iron Man. He's Elon Musk. And here are his 10 rules for success. That third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? No. Why not? I don't ever give up. I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. Really liking what you do, whatever area that you get into, um, given that you know, even if you're, if you're the best of the best, there's always a chance of failure. So I think it's important that you really like whatever you're doing. Um, if, if you don't like it, life is too short. If you like what you're doing, you think about it even when you're not working. I mean, you, you're, it'll just, it, it's, it's something that your mind is drawn to. Um, and, and if you don't like it, you just really can make it work, I think. So many people try to talk me out of starting a ride company. It was, it was crazy. One good friend of mine collected a whole series of videos of rockets blowing up and made me watch those. He just didn't want me to lose all my money. We're doing these things that uh, seem unlikely to succeed. And we've been fortunate, and at least thus far, they have succeeded. Now is the time to take risk. You don't have kids. As you get older, your obligations increase. So you, the, and once you have a family, you start taking risks, not just for yourself, but for your family as well. It gets much harder to uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time to do that. Uh, before you, before you have those obligations. So I would, I would encourage you to take risks now, do something bold. Um, you are regret it. How did you figure you were gonna start a car company and be successful at it? Well, I didn't really think Tesla would be successful. I thought we would most likely fail. But I thought that we at least uh, could address the false perception that people had that an electric car had to be ugly and slow and, and boring like a golf cart. But you say you didn't expect the company to be successful, then why try? If something's important enough, you should try, even if you, the probable outcome is failure. You focus on, on signal over noise. Um, a lot of companies get, get confused. They, they spend money on things that don't actually make the product better. For example, at, at Tesla, we've, we've never spent any money on advertising. Um, we, we put all of the money into R&D and, and manufacturing and design to try to make the car as good as possible. Um, and uh, I, I think that's, that's, that's the way to go. For, for any given company, just can, can keep thinking about, are these efforts that people are, are expending, are they resulting in a better product or service? And if they're not, stop those efforts. When I interview someone to work at the company, to be, to ask them to tell me about the problems that they worked on and how they solved them. And if, if someone was really the, the person that solved it, they'll be able to answer multiple levels. They'll be able to go down to the brass tacks. And if they weren't, they'll get stuck. And then you can say, oh, this person was not really the person who solved it because anyone who struggled hard with a problem never forgets it. If you're creating a company or if you're joining a company, uh, the most important thing is to, uh, attra is to attract great people. So either be with, join a group that's amazing, that you really respect, or if, you, if you're building a company, you've got to gather great people. I mean, all a company is is a group of people that have gathered together to create a product or service. And so depending upon how talented and hardworking that group is and the degree to which they are focused uh, cohesively in, in a good direction, that will determine the success of the company. So do everything you can to, to gather great people uh, if, if you're creating a company. So you've got to make sure that whatever you're doing is a great product or service. It has to be really great. And I go back to what I was saying earlier where um, if you're a new company, I mean, unless it's like some new industry or, or new market that, if it's an untapped market, or then, then uh, you have more ability to, you know, there's this, 
the standard is lower for your product or service. But if you're entering anything where there's an existing marketplace against large entrenched competitors, then your product or service needs to be much better than theirs. It can't be a little bit better because then you put yourself in the shoes of the consumer and they say, why would you buy it as a consumer? You're always going to buy the trusted brand unless there's a big difference. So a lot of times, uh, you know, as an entrepreneur will come up with something which is only slightly better. Um, and it's, it's not, it can't just be slightly better. It's got to be a lot better. Depending on how well you want to do, and particularly if you're starting a company, you need to work super hard. So what, what does super hard mean? Um, well, when my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA and uh, we're, we're so hot up, we had one computer. So the, 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 the website was up during the day uh, and I was coding at night, seven days a week, all the time. Um, and I, I uh, sort of briefly had a girlfriend in that period and in order to be with me, she had to sleep in the office. So I uh, work hard like, it, it, I mean, every waking hour, that's, that's the, the thing I would, would say, if, if you, particularly if you're starting a company. Um, and I mean, if you do simple math, say like, okay, if somebody else is working 50 hours and you're working 100, uh, you'll get twice as done in the course of a year as the, as, uh, the other company. Awesome share. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the Bruce Lee, and then at the end, we're going to go ahead and collect uh, some, some reflection. Actor, teacher, and philosopher. He is widely considered to be one of the most influential martial artists of all time. He is often credited with helping change the way Asians were presented in American films. He's Bruce Lee, and here are his top 10 rules for success. Actually, I do not teach, you know, karate because I do not believe in styles anymore. I mean, I do not believe that there is such thing as like a Chinese way of fighting or the Japanese way of fighting or whatever way of fighting because unless human beings have three arms and four legs, we will have a different form of fighting. But basically, we have only two hands and two feet. So styles tends to... Uh, 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 not only separate men, you know, because they have their own doctrines and then the doctrine became the gospel truth, you know, that you cannot change, you know, and, but if you do not have styles, if you just say, well, here, here I am, you know, as, uh, as a human being, how can I express myself totally and completely? Now, that way, you won't create a style because style is a crystallization, you know, I mean, that way, it's a process of continuing growth. When I look around, I always learn something. That is to be always yourself and to express yourself, to have faith in yourself. Do not go out and look for a successful personality and duplicate him. Now, that seems to me that that is the prevalent thing happening in Hong Kong. Like they always copy mannerisms, but they never start from the very root of his being, and that is 
how can I be me? A good martial artist does not become tense but ready. Not thinking yet, not dreaming. Ready for whatever may come. When the opponent expands, I contract. When he contracts, I expand. And when there is an opportunity, I do not hit. It hits all by itself. Often time people come up and say, hey Bruce, are you really that good? I said, well, if I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know what I'm lying. I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. In case you have missed the recent news, Kit could know of which I am the founder, has been elected and accepted into the Black Belt Hall of Fame in America. This marks the first time a recently developed form of martial art is nationally accepted. No, Chikito is not thousands or even hundreds of years old. It started in around 1965 by a dedicated and intensified man called Bruce Lee. And my martial art is something that no serious martial artist can ignore. I have no fear of opponent in front of me. But I am very self-sufficient that they do not bother me. And that should I fight, should I do anything, I have made up my mind and that's it, baby. You better kill me before. What was that? An exhibition? We need emotional content. Try again. That's it. How did it feel to you? Let me think. Don't think. Feel. It is like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. Well, you know, everyone talks to me about Bruce Lee. Because Bruce Lee and I were very good friends and we trained together for like three years before he left for Hong Kong to pursue his movie career. And uh, I didn't hear anything from Bruce for like two years. Then out of the blue, Bruce calls me. He says, I've done two movies in Hong Kong and they're really successful. I want to do a movie now with a fight scene that everyone will remember. And I want to do the fight scene in the Colosseum in Rome and I want you to be my opponent. At that time, I held the world title. And kiddingly, I say to Bruce, I said, well, who wins, Bruce? And he said, I win. I'm the star of this movie. And I said, oh, I see. You want to beat the world champion. He said, no, I don't. I want to kill the world champion. Thank you guys for watching. I made this video because the B song asked me to. Okay. All right. So 
those were amazing. I really, 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 really love these two. Uh, it was awesome because it was two very different people uh, that had very two uh, different impacts in the world. So I want to go ahead and uh, open up the lines for some shares. I don't know if Aubrey is on the line and would like to share. Aubrey, are you there? Yeah, can you guys hear me? Yes. Awesome. Uh, I'm getting the Ford Mustang working on right now because she's going to be having a new owner because uh, we're getting a new car. So that's where I'm at. Thank you so much, Roxy, for holding it down. Doing great. Uh, really love these videos. Two really amazing people. And uh, some of my biggest takeaways were, number one, you know, Bruce Lee become like water. Water is formless, you know. You put it in a cup, it's a cup. You put it in a, a, a bowl, it's a bowl. You can make it hot, you can make it cold. You crash like a waterfall. It becomes everything so that nothing can, you know, it, it's not so rigid. And flexibility is really important. I was also listening to Ty Lopez, the guy on YouTube with the Ferrari. He always talks about that the most flexible among us, not the strongest, not the smartest, the most flexible always survives, always wins, because it's not your strength only that determines what, you're, what you'll do or what you're capable of. Because what if your challenge or what if the opponent or what if anything that comes up is outside of your strength zone? Are you flexible enough to be able to handle that? And really, that was great to me. Bruce Lee was such an amazing guy. I don't know if you guys saw some of those videos. Finger push-ups with one hand, like – Beasted them out super fast. Uh, and you know what he always talked about? He started his own martial art uh, like form, which was an amalgamation, a combination of many things called Jeet Kune Do. And he talked about just being flexible. Take this strength. Take that strength. He combined many strengths of different forms of uh, karate and, and taekwondo. He took the strengths and put them into one because he believed in flexibility. And in flexibility, he found strength. So really great stuff. Great job, Rox. You're killing it. Triple M stop. Awesome. Anybody else would like to share? Steven? Justin? Justin Stevens? Hey, what's going on? What's up? Um, um, I, I, was, I got on a little uh, late, but I did get to hear. Um, uh, yeah, Elon, um, Elon Musk, I believe. Uh, one thing that I, I keep hearing uh, was just his his committed um, his commitment uh, to to his belief and to his vision. Uh, I, I I heard him talk about how they bought like or they re rented like an office and him and his partner like worked in it and slept in it and you know what I mean. Like to have that that conviction that you know what versus going to get a home like everyone else, I'm going to commit myself to this work. Um, and I've heard other successful people who have done that, you know, Les Brown, you know, um, even uh, even the guy from Saturday's um, supervisor call just talking about how he, you know, um, <clears throat> had an option of paying rent or like rent in a studio. And um, just that level of conviction about your vision uh, is really powerful and speaks volume to me. So that's probably my greatest takeaway from the day in this call. Like just if you really believe in it, then go all in and just be committed, you know. So. Yep. Love it, love it. Uh, let's get one more share. Susie or Luce? The ladies available? I think some people may be at work. All right, so okay, I'll go ahead and share some of my takeaways. So some of the things that I love the most, I really loved, uh, I'm going to go from like Elon Musk to, to Bruce Lee. I really liked how Elon Musk, um, he said, like, never quit. Like, no matter how many times he fell, because he failed multiple times before his businesses and everything that he created is what it is, you know? But he says, you can't be afraid to fail. And if you can't stop thinking about something, you, you have, you got to do it, you know? It's just like, for instance, uh, in our Herbalife business, you know, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. It's not always like this high peak and beautiful, like valley and stuff. Sometimes it does get tough. You know, but one thing that I know for sure for me and I know for Aubrey is that no matter how hard it gets, no matter no matter what happens, like we'll never quit. Why? Because we can I personally never stop thinking about herbal life. From like the moment that I was introduced, like I knew that I would be doing this no matter what. 
you know, and, and even though times get tough, like quitting for me personally has never been an option. Why? Because I'm committed to the mission. I'm committed to Herbalife. I'm committed to everything that Herbalife has to offer. So like I can really, really relate to what uh, Elon Musk said as far as like if you can't stop thinking about something, like just do it and you got to go do it. And that's what Herbalife represents for me. Like I can never stop thinking about it. I think about it all day, every day. Um, and then um, I also liked how he talked about attracting great people to join, like attract great people or join a group. You know, like you, we are who we surround ourselves with. If we're surrounded by people that are playing at this level in life, and it's okay if they want to play at this level, not that there's anything wrong with it, but if you want more for your life, you got to surround yourself with people who are playing at a higher level, you know? And uh, that's one thing too that I really, really love about the community is that you're able to pick and choose who we get to surround ourselves with. You know, because if you don't have any contrast, if you're always surrounded by people that are doing the minimum, then you're always going to do the minimum. But if you start to surround yourself by people that are thinking bigger, that are doing more, and all of those things, then you will naturally start playing at that level because you're around that. So really pay attention to who you're surrounding yourself with, and are they adding value, and are they playing a big role in your life to reach higher successes in life? If you wish to be successful, like, just think about, is this person adding value to my life or are they taking from it? You know, because there's two types of people. There's going to be people that feed in, like, positivity, energy, and all this amazingness, but then there's also going to be people that do the opposite. So you got to really be careful, and I'm not saying don't talk to them, but I am saying you have to sometimes love people from a distance. You know, I've done that for me, and it's not that I love people any less, but right now where I'm going, I have to love certain people at a distance because all I have room for is feed me energy, give me love, give me all these, like, give me, give me the good stuff, and then right now I can't deal with, like, all this other stuff because then it could bring you down. So really love that. Attract great people or join a group of great people. So that was awesome. Uh, and then um, I really love this last one that he said. He's like, you can't be slightly better. You have to be a lot, like, a lot better, you know? So it's like a great way to evaluate ourselves all the time. Like, am I doing better right now or am I doing a lot better? And whatever that is, like a physical goal, like a health goal, whatever it, like, in, jo in your job, whatever it is, like, ask yourself, am I doing better or a lot better? Because then there's, you know, if you're doing better right now, there's always room to, to be a lot better and make room for improvement. And remember, the, the way we do anything is how we do everything. So it's a great opportunity to, to start taking care of the things that you need to take care of. I always tell people, once you start taking care and control of your body, you know, that begins to shift into other areas of your life. You know, that's what it did for me. Once I started to care about what I was putting into my body, the way that I looked and all these things, it started to manifest into other areas of my life because now you begin to care about all the other things. So those were the top 10 rules of Elon Musk, like three big takeaways. And of course, he said work super hard. Seven times a week, he was working. So ask yourself, like, how hard do I want to work to get to where I want to go? Uh, and then from Bruce Lee, I really loved how he said, Ask yourself the question, how can I express myself? You know, like, what is your expression and what are you here to do? Because each and every single one of us is made completely different and we express ourselves completely different. He said, don't try to be and mimic and, and mimic someone's style. Like, don't do that. Express your own self. You know, because when you express your own self, you allow the highest power and the creativity to just flow through you. Uh, so I really love that. And then, um, I loved how he said, have faith. Like, you got to have faith in you, like, no matter what. And he said, don't think about it. Like, feel, feel it. I thought that was super powerful when he was telling the kid, and he was just like, think about it. And the kid's like, okay, well, he asked the kid something, and he's like, well, let me think about it. He said, no, that's wrong. Because the more that you think about it, the more that you're out there. You know, thoughts, like, if you think about your thoughts, like, you are not your thoughts. And, and the reason why I say that is because if you were to close your eyes and, and really listen to your thoughts, if you can observe your thoughts, that means that you are not the thoughts. It's like, how can I say I'm this chair if I'm the one observing the chair? 
So you are not your thoughts because you can observe your thoughts. You're the observer. You're the presence behind the thinking mind. You're the, you're, you're the, you're the being that feels and feels a lot stronger than any thought in the world. So if you ever have that gut feeling or whatever it is, like go for it. Like trust your feelings and start to learn to be, to, to act more out of the heart because that's what the feelings are instead of the mind. Because the mind, remember, it's programmed and it was given to you. It's not yours. It's like hundreds and thousands of people's like chatter up in your mind. So I thought that was super powerful. And then uh, last but not least, he said, empty your mind and flow like water. Like, be like water. Look, pay attention to water. Um, the water, like, if you pour into a cup, it becomes a cup. If you pour into a bottle, it becomes a bottle. Same thing with us. We get that, that same opportunity to flow and to be whatever it is in this, inside the moment and uh, not go against it. So I thought today's uh, Triple M was absolutely amazing. I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, we're going to do a recording, so we're going to post a link. Share this with your friends. You know, like, what were your biggest takeaways? Was it, like, the videos? Was it, what, like, any of the shares, like, somebody said that most stuck out to you? Uh, definitely amazing. Uh, and uh, let's have a power-packed week. It's almost, let me see, I'm trying to check my calendar, and I know it's the 21st. I don't know if this is the last week or next. I think it's next. Uh, but I hope you guys have an amazing Monday, and uh, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.